Hi guys, it's Reagan, and it is time for this season's reading and review! It is time for the previous season's reading and review. If you're not aware of what my video series of reading and review is, I look at all the books I read in the previous season. I kind of have a, it's like a consolidated wrap up. I just name off all the ratings I gave, all the books I read for that season, and then I also tell you my top five books at the end. So, the past season was fall, so the months consisting of September, October, November, I read a total of 19 books. So let's go ahead and get started. But before I get started, I need to introduce you to my new puppy. She's so cute. Yes, I got a puppy pug, and she's really hyper right now and just wants to play. But I'm making her take her close up. Let's take a close up, darling. Look at her face. Oh, oh, look at her face. She's like, what is going on, Regan? Let me down. This book I read in September was Gone Girl, and I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. Next up, I read Air of Fire, also gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. Evil gave this book a 5 or 4.5 out of 5 stars. I read both The Clockwork Scarab and The Spirit Glass Charade. I gave both those books a 4 out of 5 stars. Now moving on to October, I first read The Foreshadowing by Marcus Sedgwick. I gave this book a 3.75 out of 5 stars. Next I read Deadly Class and I gave this uh, graphic novel a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Then Sweet Peril, the second book to the Sweet Trilogy, I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. Next, I read The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan, and I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. Next up was Night Film, uh, and I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. Please forgive me, Leonard Peacock, or I'm sorry, forgive me, Leonard Peacock, and I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. And the last book I read in October was The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, and I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. Moving on to the month of November, the first book I read was The Bone Season by Samantha Shanna, and I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read Written in Red by Anne Bishop, I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. Then Lexicon, and I gave this book a 3.75 out of 5 stars. Unmade by Sarah Reese Brennan, I gave this book a 3 or 2.5 out of 5 stars. The Undertaking of Lily Chen, I gave this graphic novel a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Anya's Ghost, I gave this graphic novel a 4 out of 5 stars. Lastly, I read Lock In, and I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. If you're interested in a more in-depth review, or just a quick uh, review of any of these books, please look to my wrap-ups that I did for each of these months that I quickly went over because there will be more in-depth reviews. But now let's move on to the top five books I read this past season, which was fall. The first book that makes that list is going to be an obvious one, and that is Air of Fire by Sarah J. Moss, the third book to the Throne of Glass series, which is one of my all-time favorite young adult fantasy series. I completely loved this installment. Obviously, I can't go into plot, but I found that this book had a lot of character development that I was really, really wanting that wasn't really given to me in previous books of the series, and it introduced some really interesting and fascinating characters that I think are going to play a really cool role, role in later books to come. I personally found this installment to be my favorite of the series so far, and it laid a lot of groundwork for later books. And I love a good training book, my friends, and this had lots of training. It's my favorite. The next book that's definitely made my top five is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This book I really am not going to tell you much about. I realize it's super hyped right now with the book and the movie that has that had came, came out. That came out in like early October, I believe. But this book is a suspense thriller, and that's really all you need to know. Um, I don't want to say anything to accidentally indicate any sort of plot point because nothing's worse than accidentally being spoiled by something. But I really like this. I thought it had very dynamic characters that made the book reading experience very refreshing. So there you go. The next book that made my top five is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I've been saying her wrong apparently in every video that I've ever mentioned this book, but regardless, I love this book so much. This is a fantastic thriller, mystery, crime, paranormal question mark novel. This um, book follows a kind of disgraced reporter as he's investigating the mysterious death of a cult horror film director's daughter. It is such an immersive read. Like you, to, I was captivated from page one. It messed with my mind. It messed with my perception on reality. It was fantastic. Plus this book has um, really cool like pictures in it. Basically if 
the investigators like looking at a website or looking at evidence or a case file instead of it just being written in normal dialogue it's actually shown within the book itself which I think is a really great touch really fantastic will keep you thinking for a while and perhaps will keep you up at night did to me anyway the next book that's been my top five is just a little it's just a gem it is just a gem and that is the Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. I really, really love this book, and I just want to express that to all the people out there because I really, really, really love this book. Um, I feel like I've talked about it a lot recently, but I'm gonna keep talking about it because guess what? I really, really love this book. This is a magical realism book that follows a young girl who was born with wings. And the whole book, she's recounting her history as well as her, her mother and her grandmother's history. Um, as a device to kind of start in the past and work her way up to her present story so we have a really great picture of her life as well as um, her mom's and her grandmother's life. It is just about three women who all have some sort of strange attribute um, that have marked them in their life, that have made their life different or difficult or more interesting in some sort of way and it's just a great story. I don't... this... it was richer than I was expecting. I like I say every time I talk about this group book I feel like it just grew inside of me like it planted itself inside of me and grew. It's just so delightful but it also carries so much weight at the same time. Like I was so invested in this in these characters in this book and it's not very long like I love this book so much. And the last book that's made my top five for the season is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I just really loved this book. This is an urban fantasy or paranormal futuristic novel. It follows a girl named Paige who, as I've previously mentioned in videos, has mind ability. She can basically walk into other people's dreams or minds and she lives in a society where any sort of mind power is very illegal by the society and they're all hunted by this government thing and done away with. So for her own survival she's kind of joined a gang because, you know, strength in numbers. And um, that's sort of the beginning. And then some events occur that kind of get her sweeped up in, like, secrecy. And, like, she starts to find out, she starts to find out some secrets that involve the state and maybe how some politics have been formed. It's very interesting. And like I've mentioned multiple times, this book to me reads a lot like YA. It's very fast paced. The characters are young. They're like 19 or so. Um, but it doesn't have a lot of the angst and annoyance that sometimes I find with YA, so I just found it to be a really quick and enjoyable read that I literally read in two sittings. Like, I just sat down and read it. Um, I know some people are afraid or they've heard that this book is confusing. I don't think so. I just think that the world is so complex it's going to take you a little bit to fully understand how everything kind of works together, but to me, you get there. Like, you're going to get there and everything's going to be okay. So. Alrighty guys, that is my fall reading and review. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. I always like making them because it kind of makes me have to reflect on all of the books I've read in the past three months. But yes, I will see you guys with a new video soon. Okay, bye!